Okay, so the next step is a bit tricky one because I'm going to have to put this shaft back in with the new pulley, the timing pulley. And uh, before I do so, I would like to show that there's a flat bit in here, in this end, and the pulley has two grub screws in there. The other one is longer, the, the other one is a bit shorter one. So the idea is to get that longer one aligned with the flat piece of the shaft here. So you're going to have to the shaft back in from this side and try to get that pulley on there. Somehow. Gentle force is and tap on the end of the shaft. Gonna have to turn this the other way around to be able to do this. Getting there. Except that I'm an idiot. I'm gonna have to take it off. The reason being <laughs> is a very silly one. I need to fit this in there as well. And now I can't get it on. Right, so I didn't have to actually remove the shaft completely to get, in, in order to get the belt fitted in there as well. Just backed it off a little bit and uh, you're able to move this thing around and put the belt in there as well. So, yeah, something like that. And then gently tap the, ba uh, the shaft back in there. Okay, so got the part back in there the other way around and the belt is in there. Shaft is halfway there. Let's put it back in place. Okay, so this is a little tricky to show, but the pulley is in, in right place at the moment. It's all the way pushed against the shoulder over here, and if... I'm not sure if you're able to see that, there, but... The shoulder of the shaft on the other side of the pulley needs to be... There needs to be one millimeter of it showing above that and that's when you know how the when, when the pulley is in the right place so all we need to do is to tighten up these grub screws they don't need to be super tight so don't overdo them because this is aluminium it's really easy to strip the threads so just tighten them up like that and that should be it. The only thing to left to do is to put the bearing back in there and then uh, close the caps. Okay, bearing. You have to remember which way around this was. To put it back exactly where it used to be. And that's just very easy to get there. And all we need to do now is to Replace the cap. Tighten it up using the optional tool that I bought. Be careful not to lose these pins, they come off really easily. And then it's just a matter of turning this around. Place the bearing locking ring. Take the pins out from the tool and screw back the 
Green. enough. As a matter of fact it may be a little bit too tight because the shaft is not turning. Yeah that's too tight. Let's see I'm gonna actually take the cap off on this side and make sure that the shaft is properly positioned. Right, so I've got a little bit of a problem here because um, first of all the ring here, I, I did over tighten it a little so I loosen it up to to uh, free the shaft and the, the purpose of this whole ring is to just to re tighten it enough so that it removes all the play on the shaft and the, in the in the direction of the shaft itself but the other problem that I have here now is that because the other grub screw on the pulley is longer than the other one it's actually I'm not sure if you can actually see that um, it's hitting the aluminium housing in there so I'm gonna actually have to investigate and, and first of all I need to see that my pulley is actually aligned properly on the, on the flat piece of area on the shaft and if that's aligned properly then I may have to actually f shorten the grub group itself or take some uh, some of the aluminium material away in that corner because it does turn this way around but this is only that one corner that it's gonna get stuck so I will investigate this and come back to you okay uh, the solution was easier than I thought it turned out that when I when I took off the entire grub screw from there it, there was a little piece of metal in the thread that prevented the grub screw to go all the way in so now that's, that that's removed I was able to screw both of the grub screws all the way down and the shaft is rotating freely now so that's that's done now so all only thing to left to do is to replace the cap in this and then we'll take it from there <laughs> 